So the pressure's on for these drivers who, by the way, have never even gone on this track yet. They haven't practiced. It brings a whole new set of challenges. And speaking of that, our own Kelsey Kernstein kind of looked into that. Um, she is live with us, too, not far from me. Kelsey, I understand that you actually spoke to some drivers. What are they telling you ahead of this weekend's races? You know, Marky, this is definitely going to be a tricky race this week, and a lot of them are not prepared. I'm so glad that you're down here with me enjoying this racetrack. It is crazy what they're going to have to do. They're going to be going 140 to 150 miles per hour on these racetracks. And yes, of course, they've only been practicing on these simulated race course, so it's nothing compared to once they get out on this track. So coming up with the winning formula, well, it has its own sets of challenges. I've seen a lot of cool things happen in this sport, but but this has to go right to the top. Racing legend Dale Jarrett almost wanted to jump back behind the wheel just to take part in this weekend's inaugural races through the streets of Chicago. NASCAR's first ever street race could be a classic case of what to expect when you least expect it. We've never done this before, and you can look at the track, and you can walk the track, and you can think, okay, I know what's going to happen. You strap yourself in that car and you pull out and it's completely different than what you thought. This challenging course will feature long stretches where drivers can reach speeds of up to 140 to 150 miles per hour, but quickly slow down to 40 miles per hour in the tight turns. If we mess up by two inches, you're probably going to hit a wall and probably take your car out of the race. You'll be, you'll be done for the day. Um, so as a driver, that makes it a lot of fun, but it also makes it uh, a little unnerving. The 220 mile race is shorter than the typical NASCAR event, which professionals say is bound to lead to exciting and aggressive racing. Fans always like to see a little bumping and banging, and uh, I think we're going to see that here. For drivers, this race is going to be different, and being that it's the first of its kind, claiming the checkered flag will mean that much more. Be part of the inaugural event is just special in its own right, let alone hopefully I'm the one that wins it. These drivers will finally have a chance to practice on this racetrack starting tomorrow morning. The races start Saturday afternoon. The big race happening on Sunday. We are following it all. We're going to bring you all the action. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.